friends, I'm Mimi Cooster, and I hear that it is summer where you are, and that means summer reading. Now, summer reading is bundles of fun, but it can also be kind of exhausting. So I'm here today to give you a little bit of a pep talk, and I brought with my trusty binder. So I want to go over with you five things Leslie Nope taught us that can help to power through an amazing summer reading club. Or if you happen to be watching this when it's not summertime, um, it's also good for any other big project, initiative, presentation, unity concert, or binder project that's on your to-do list. So let's get started. It's summer reading. What do you need to remember to be awesome? Number one, no accomplishment is too small for celebration. I'm sure you just did something awesome today, so you should A, pat yourself on the back, and B, like, tell a coworker. Or if you see a coworker who did something awesome, celebrate it. Say a great job. You know, have toast with a, a can of pop or a seltzer water. We really like seltzer water here at the library. I don't know. Think about how you can celebrate and make it something that's just part of your routine so that you're constantly in a really good mood about the things that you're accomplishing. Number two. Dance breaks and impromptu karaoke can totally change your mood. So if you find yourself getting a little bit cranky, uh, maybe find that boombox, take out the kid's CD, and put in something that you love. Sing, dance, jump around. If you find yourself getting particularly upset with a coworker, I hear it's really useful to put on We Didn't Start the Fire. Number three. Waffles help. So waffles in general are amazing and delicious and you don't really need any other food, but this is also a metaphor. Basically, eat breakfast. It's something your mom told you to do. You don't always do it, but when you do do it, you feel better. So. Do that. Number four, give your teammates and yourself ridiculous and true compliments. All right, so a lot of things that Leslie Nope would say to her best friend Anne were pretty crazy, um, but really they just made everybody feel better. They made Anne feel better, made her feel better. So think about how you can pay those compliments to yourself and to your coworkers. And remember, you are a brilliant creative starfish. Last but not least, no one accomplishes anything alone. So remember this summer that you're not going it alone. You may feel isolated, you may feel bombarded with questions and kids and sticky fingers, but you're not doing it by yourself. So look to your team, rely on your team, ask for help when you need it, and celebrate together because together you are going to offer an amazing program for kids at your library. So those are the five tips from Leslie Nope that are going to be usable for an amazing summer reading club. I hope you enjoyed it and I hope you have a wonderful summer. Bye!